The Cloister Gallery, designed in the 1920s, enchants visitors to the Toledo Museum of Art. For many, its spatial effects, subtle lighting, and precious works of art evoke the spirit of the Middle Ages. Central to the gallery's aura of serene spirituality are the architectural elements drawn from the medieval world. The gallery walls behind the four arcades display a rich variety of medieval objects, including ivories, metalwork, tapestries, paintings, and works of sculpture. Closest to the gallery's entrance is a row of seven arches from Notre Dame de Ponto, a monastery in southwestern France. Dating to about 1400 and executed in a style known as Gothic, its pointed arches are supported by a pair of columns topped by carved capitals. The original location of this arcade, carved around 1150 in a style called Romanesque, is uncertain. Made of six round-headed arches, relatively thick columns are crowned with large, richly carved capitals depicting plants and animals, some of them hybrid creatures with fantastic shapes. The third arcade, the furthest from the gallery's entrances, is from the monastery of saint Paul de Tomières in the south of France. Its ornately carved double columns support richly carved capitals, displaying dramatic scenes from the life of saint Paul, the Old Testament, and the New Testament. Partially carved in the middle of the 12th century, the work was finished in the early 13th century. The fourth and final arcade is located on the left as one enters, on the eastern side of the cloister courtyard. Made by Toledo craftsmen in the early 20th century, it imitates columns designed and carved in the 1400s for a hospital courtyard in the town of Beaune, located southeast of Paris in the region of Burgundy.